Okay, hello YouTube. Today we're going to be cooking out of the Instant Pot today. Um, we have a corned beef brisket and it takes a little longer to cook so we're going to use the Instant Pot, not the um, air fryer. Um, these are the ingredients that we're going to use. We, got, we have beef broth, we have parsley, minced garlic, bay leaves, this is water. We have two cups of that. We have cabbage, carrots, potatoes, and onions. Those are the bay leaves. Um, the corned beef came from Walmart and it cost about $10.63. Um, it has a seasoning pack in it. Um, and it, from what I'm told, it really doesn't take much seasoning. So. We're just going to go with what we have here, and we're just going to cook it and see how it turn back, turn out, and we'll be back after station identification. And don't forget to like and subscribe. when you uh, cook with it you're gonna put the fat side down so that's what that's how we're gonna start off cooking it we're gonna put the fat side down in the instant pot all right all right YouTube so now I'm just gonna um, go ahead and take the meat and put it in fat side down I'm gonna sit it right into the the instant pot I need to cut that open. Okay, and I'm gonna take this seasoning pack here and I'm gonna put it over, over the corned beef. It has some season. The seasoning smells pretty good. And while we at it, I'm just gonna take um the potatoes and add in a couple of them as many as I can fit in because this is a small pot a little bit of the parsley gonna put a tablespoon of garlic and I'm gonna add two of the bay leaves and make sure you take these out in the end gonna stick those in there okay okay YouTube I added the rest of my potatoes in there I'm gonna add two cups of water in here okay YouTube I decided to add one cup of water and one cup of broth because this is a small um insta pot so we're gonna start off that way all right i'm gonna put the lid on and then i'm gonna set the temperature 
Okay, YouTube, we're going to take the sealer and we're going to um, push it towards the back. We're going to seal it closed. We're going to turn the pressure cooker on. And we're going to push the pressure level and we're going to turn it up to an hour and 30 minutes. on a high. Okay. Yeah. There you go. So we'll wait for that hour and 30 minutes to get going and we'll be back after the station identification. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hey YouTube, I'm going to make me some cornbread to go with my cabbage and corned beef. Um, so this is my cornbread, and I have one egg to go in it. I'm gonna make me some muffins. I use um, one box of cornbread. I have one egg. I like a little sugar in mine, so that's just like um, just as much as you would like. I have one third cup of milk. I'll pour that in there. Um, I'm gonna melt my butter in the in the oven. It's set for 400 degrees. Let me put it in here to melt and then I'm going to take my butter and pour it in my cornbread. I'm going to whip this up and then we'll be back shortly. So I'm going to take my grease and pour it, my butter, and pour it into I'm going to take my butter and pour it into my bowl. Okay, so that's your butter in your cornbread. Once you mix it up, you pour it into your batter into your um, grease muffin pan. You put it in the oven on 400 degrees for 20 minutes. And then we'll show you what it looks like afterwards. Okay, I'm gonna pour the muffin in the pan. All right, and we'll be back with you shortly once we get it filled. We're going to set the kitchen timer for 20 minutes because that's how long it takes for muffins, the muffins usually to cook. And it'll alert us when it's ready. So, set for 20 minutes. That's the timer on the corned beef. When that beeps, then we'll take the corned beef out, put the other stuff in, and let that cook. We'll know when all the steam is out once that pin drops down in the back there. So we'll wait. Okay, so the silver piece dropped all the way down and Looks like the steam is all the way out. Let's see if we can open it. Oh, we're able to open it. Okay, there is the corned beef and the potatoes. Let's take the corned beef out. And then we're gonna, oh. This, um, I gotta get something else to help lift it out. Let's see. We don't want it to fall apart. Okay, so there's the corned beef. Let's 
Seems like it's tender. And we're going to take the, the carrots and drop them in. The onions. Drop them in. And cabbage. Put that in. And we're going to steam it for a little bit. It's a small pot. But we're going to steam what we can. I know we can't do all that. Okay. I'm going to put the lid back on it. Okay, so I used half of my cabbage. Um, I'll save that for another day. I covered up my corned beef here. And then we're going to, the vegetables that we put in here, we're going to steam it. And we're going to do it for three minutes. And we're going to, where is it? Start. Okay, so I'm gonna push steam. I put it on three minutes and I'll leave it and then it'll kick on and it'll go by itself. And then we'll just wait for those three minutes up. Okay, so we're slicing up the corned beef and it looks pretty tender. And it seems to taste pretty good too. And this is what the cabbage and the vegetable looks like. And there's a lot of juice in it. But so we're going to fix up a, a plate and show you what everything looks like. And we'll get back with you shortly. to get down to the bottom to get some of the potatoes. There's a protect the the there you go the potatoes the carrots and the cabbage on the red taste everything okay Okay, we're gonna do the taste. Corned beef is seasoned really good. Being that we didn't have to put any seasoning in it. Now we're gonna see what the vegetables taste like being that we didn't have any seasonings added. You might have to add a little salt and pepper to it. As far as the cabbage and vegetables go. The potatoes got the seasoning in it. But it's really good. So I'm going to get down. And I'm going to enjoy this. So don't forget to like and subscribe. And enjoy. Alright, see ya.